everyone. Welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking and this is a little bit of astrology before the tarot. I will be very quick. I'm doing it a little bit differently this time and today is the 15th of September 2019 um, and I'm just going to talk a, a, a little bit about the astrology. So we're in the Virgo season, still in Virgo season, so I'd like to just mention to everyone thank you so much for your birthday wishes I'm over the moon I've never had so many wishes birthday wishes before in my life thank you so much to all of you and sending you many blessings and many wishes for your birthday if you are celebrating your birthday as well very appreciative I am thank you guys I had a wonderful birthday thank you so much now so we're coming to the end of the uh, season of Virgo another week roughly what is important to show you is that Venus has just moved into Libra and Venus is the ruling planet of Libra as well as Taurus she's a little bit different when she's with Libra and she's a bit different when she's with Taurus because Taurus is all about our values and our comforts and our earned income whereas Venus in the partnership house which is the house of Libra partnerships and other people so it's relationships with other people and whether it's romantic business family doesn't matter so she's almost at one degree of Libra so she's very comfortable there very strong very loving very um, it's a time of relationships um, finding the balance finding the um, equilibrium through conversation what is Libra Libra is air so air is intellect so therefore especially with her being conjunct with Mercury Mercury is the ruler of Virgo and Gemini but Mercury now is conjunct with Venus so Mercury is all about business conversation communication travel um, commerce anything to do with the logic because mercury is the left brain it rules logic so therefore we're going to be having conversations important conversations logical ones and loving ones because of Venus in relation to trying to find the balance um, in love in anything that we love that's what Venus is Venus is love values money projects whatever whatever is near and dear to us okay so she's very strong here that's beautiful to see slowly the Sun and then Mars will move into Libra as well it's going to be Libra time so I just wanted to also say that uh, today being the 15th Saturn which is still retrograde at 13 nearly 14 degrees will be turning direct in about three days Saturn has been retrograde in Capricorn it's its rulership so it's very strong there it's very close as you can see it's conjunct the south node south node of the moon which is all about karma it's um, things that are familiar to us things that have we have been dealing with through another lifetime if you believe in reincarnation or through the past because the south node of the moon is things to do with the past it's fate it's um, again very karmic so the north node of the moon which is in cancer which is also called uh, Rahu and the south node of the moon which is K2 you know uh, Rahu is the head of the dragon and K2 is the tail where it excretes any rubbish anything that it needs to <laughs> get rid of I was going to use another word but I thought I better not anyway so yeah there's a lot of karmic things happening in Capricorn at this time and a lot of you will have noticed that there are we've got energies that are very polarized so one minute as I've said already in my videos it's heaven and then the other minute we feel like it's hell there is no in between right now it's like up and down like positive negative negative positive it's very polaristic so there's no in-betweens now with the north node in cancer at 15 degrees it's halfway through cancer so 
The south node being right opposite again is at 15 degrees. As I said, Saturn will be turning direct, so it's been retrograde for about four or five months. So things will start to move because Saturn is the Lord of Time and the Lord of Karma. Pluto is all about transformation, it rules Scorpio. So there is a lot going on in the 10th house of Capricorn. 10th house is, it's our career, it's the authorities, it's the law, it's um, very Saturnian. So have you been putting in the work? Have you been doing things that are necessary to be done? Because the 10th house is also work. It's our career house. It's also the house of father, whereas Cancer is the house of mother. Okay, so with the North Node in Cancer, we're moving towards things to do with our family, with our heritage, our one-on-one -on -one relationships, right? So the people closest to us, people we call family. So it's halfway through the polarity of Cancer Capricorn, the nodes. So they will be um, there till about June of next year when they will change signs, um, North Node will go into Gemini and the South Node will go into uh, Sagittarius. So yeah, it's all about work, family. North Node is what we're supposed to be heading to, South Node is what we're supposed to be getting rid of, or not really getting rid of, but can we bring in the balance of both, be in the middle a little bit, you know, those shades of grey and not just black or white. Okay, so we've also got um, the moon is actually in Aries, very driven, very could be we could be emotionally aggressive at this time, but emotionally we're ready, you know, action orientated. Aries is ruled by Mars and it's conjunct Chiron. So Chiron can be an open wound from the past, from our childhood, from a previous lifetime. Um, so it's the wounding of the self, I would say, with Chiron here. And it's right opposite Venus. So, you know, I see Chiron as the victim mentality. So feeling like a bit of a victim where love is concerned and having those difficult maybe conversations and finding the balance where within. Okay, so the Sun and Mars are together in Virgo. They are conjunct, so this is a lot of energy, a lot of vitality. Okay, Mars is action, Sun is uh, the ruling planet of Leo, so it's all fire here. Mars rules Aries as well as um, Scorpio, so we do have a little bit of Scorpionic energies here as well as the trines. Very positive aspects from these, this group of planets and points here with the uh, Virgo energies of the Sun and Mars. We also have um, Juno here. For those of you that don't know, Juno is our perfect partner. So if, you've, if you know your birth chart and you could see where Juno is, you could see who you would be well matched to. So it's very similar, like Juno has got many similarities uh, with Venus. So things that we love, things around love. Uranus is still in Taurus and it will be for a, quite, a, quite a time yet, another six years, roughly, um, and it is retrograde. We've got Neptune with Black Moon Lilith. How I see Black Moon Lilith, um, I see Black Moon Lilith as a dark Venus, the vengeful female. I've seen people having transits of Black Moon Lilith where they're losing their mind. So it can be quite challenging. Um, and she's conjunct Neptune. And Neptune is unconditional love, but it can also be those rose-colored glasses. It can also be illusions. And um, so I think that, especially with Jupiter in Sag, which is it's, its rulership, so it's very strong. We're having in a few days the third meeting of Jupiter and Neptune. Um, the third square, which a square is very tough. It's like turning a corner in astrology. It's like a push and a pull a feeling where something's got to change. And that's the positive side of squares, obviously. If there is no push or pull, we don't take action and therefore there is no change. So this is, for me, 
Jupiter squaring Neptune and with Black Moon Lilith to me is like that bubble bursting. You know, you've been in a bubble, you've been in an illusion, you think you've been over optimistic with Jupiter and it's the illusion breaking. I think that Black Moon Lilith is breaking that bubble. But nevertheless, anyway, so I don't want to be here too long because a lot of you are here for the tarot, but we've still got this T-square here, which is the opposition of Neptune, Black Moon, Lilith, and Mars and uh, the Sun in Virgo. So opposition, again, it's a tug of war, you know. Virgo is the perfectionist. It's looking at the details, dotting your I's, crossing your T's work it's the house of health it's the house of daily routine and it's right opposite the illusion the bubble bursting um now we've got the sun and mars also squaring off to jupiter and uh again optimism the sun and jupiter are optimistic mars is fire it's energy okay so again optimism expansion and growth putting in the hard work looking at those details doing the work and hoping to expand but obviously something is off kilter here because it is a square so the pressure is on Jupiter here and Jupiter can be about philosophy uh, foreign places and people people at a distance it's the guru it's um, the vision, you know, the vision of the world. It's wanting to go on an adventure, but then having to do the work as well. Here we've also got Jupiter, as I said, connecting with Neptune. So that's the T-square. That's like a pressure cooker. Okay. And Jupiter is copying all the pressure here. So everyone, we've also got Saturn right across from the North Node. North Node is our trajectory, it's our fate. It's what we're supposed to be growing into, being opposite with Saturn. Saturn, again, is the timekeeper. There is a uh, sort of a juxtaposition where we've got the future and we've got the past. Saturn also deals with past. So it's like having the past and the future mixing in together in relation to home, family, career, mother and father. Okay, we've also got Neptune, which is in a beautiful trine to the North Node. That's unconditional love. It's spiritual. It's spirit. It's your angels. It's your guides at helping you along towards your fate, giving you um, that soft nudge, pushing you towards... Um, something to do with family right which is your foundation as well and giving you security as well there is a sense of security but i don't like black moon lilith which is conjunct with neptune mm. september 16th not a lot changes i want to show you what are the important changes there we go we've got saturn here that's moved direct on it's actually on the 19th um, in Sydney, Australia. In the Northern Hemisphere, it's on the 18th. So it's moved direct at 13.54 and we also have on the 23rd, um, actually on the 22nd, we're having a T-square to Venus so Venus square Saturn, which is now moving direct, and the opposition to the North Node, as well as the square to from the North Node to Venus. So what I see this as is it's fated, something to do around love projects, money, things that we've worked hard for, okay? Saturn is pushing us towards our destined path here. The pressure is on Venus to perform, to, to crystallize, that's what Saturn is, to, of course, obviously to stand in our integrity, that's what Saturn is. But I believe that it, it will actually bring 
these conversations which are necessary in relation to uh, any partnerships, any sort of give and take communication again with Mercury, doing the right thing which is Saturn and trying to bring in our security and our stability. Okay, now the day after is when the sun moves now into Libra. So happy birthday Libra, it's your solar return. Any happy returns, as you can see, the, the T-square has gotten even stronger now. It's gotten even tighter here on Venus. The pressure, pressure is on Venus and on Mercury. And the moon now is in Cancer, very sensitive time. The moon is in its rulership of Cancer. So again, anything fated around motherhood, the moon is our emotions, it's our mother. Okay, so the moon is also, when we say it's our emotions, it's also around love. Okay, deep love, the moon is motherly love. It's unconditional. So yes, on the 23rd, we're, it's time, is the time of Libra. Then we have on the 28th, we're having, oh, I forgot to mention that it's on the 21st, on the 21st that Jupiter and Neptune will be exact in their third meeting, 21st of September. And then we go on to the 28th, where we are having a new moon new moon in Libra now let's change the hours because it's at 20 degrees uh, sorry 5 degrees and 20 minutes 5 degrees and 20 minutes so we go forward so 5 degrees and roughly there okay so this is the new moon in Libra okay happening on the 29th um, in the southern hemisphere the 28th actually in the northern hemisphere so new moon in Libra this is the new moon the new beginnings always with new moons we've got something starting it's Libran's wild card make your wishes people it's a couple of days after the new moon so I would say around the 30th 31st what am I saying first there is no 31st of September um, so on the 1st of October when you can see that new moon cusp make your wish okay send it out to the universe and see what happens in the next six months until the full moon happening in the sign of Libra anyway people thank you so much for watching the astrology part of the reading um, thank you so much for being here this is the end of the video thank you so much for liking sharing and subscribing and yes I'm starting to do different things now and I'm so excited even the I'm going to have a different sort of a recording for you as well um, so it's going to be a clearer picture I've got a different camera so I'm you know fine fine um, how do I say it fine tuning fine tuning my work very Virgo ish I'm a double Virgo anyway so I'd like to also say that on my new website which is www.divinedebut11.com I've got a section which is called extended readings I will be doing extra readings there I'm not going to be cutting all the readings in half um, because I know a lot of you like those long readings so what I'm thinking of doing is the readings at the start of the month will be for free they will be full readings but the readings mid-month will be half up on YouTube for free and the other half will be on my website for purchase so this of course helps my channel helps me keep working on this and I'd like to thank you in advance for your support for that 
but I'm not only going to be doing that I will be doing horoscope um, readings as well where I will be talking about the 12 houses for each sign I've got a lot of things that I'm looking forward to doing so I'm looking forward to that so again thank you all so much for your support for your likes your shares your subscribes and all the love that is shown to me and sent my way thank you all so much you are very appreciated and I will see you soon.